Well, it's time for our children's story. So as our youth goes around and picks up the offering, uh, this offering is for our new youth department. Uh, at the last board meeting, we created a youth department with a youth leader. And she's a piano player and playing the piano for us today. So all the funds that are picked up for story time do go to that specific department. And we have a very special person coming forward right now. So Sharon Nodelson is going to be giving the children or the story time. And I say very special because anybody that's willing to come up here and sit and do a story is very special. <laughs> Besides that, 
this was a, not a very big town, so there's only one school in the whole town. And so she went over and talked to the principal. She said, would it be okay if I put some signs around the school to let people know that their bikes had been stolen and would they please bring them back? And the principal said, fine, you can do that. <clears throat> so she and the boys continued to pray that the bikes would come back on three days. Now, when they live in an apartment building, when somebody comes to your house and they want to know that you're there, they press a button on the main floor and some, a buzz comes on their apartment. So she heard the buzz. She went over and said, hello, may I help you? And this man said, come down to the lobby. I have a bike for you. Come and take the bike. Wow, oh, God had answered prayer. She went down and not only was it a bike. It was brand new bike. He said, I bought this for my son, but it's too big for him, so I want you to have it. And he left. Well, it was a bigger bike, so we let Danelle use it because he was the bigger boy. Well, Nikita was very happy for him, but hmm, he would really like to have a bike too. Mom said, that's okay. We'll keep praying. So they prayed a few more days. Guess what? Buzz. She went to the phone microphone. She said, hello, can I help you? This man's voice said, come down and get the bike. She went downstairs, and there was another brand new bike. Isn't God good? He said, I bought this for my son, and it's too big for him. I want you to have it. And he left. So just in a few days, God answered the prayer for both of those boys. Isn't God good? Yeah. We just put our trust in Him, and He will He will take care of us. And those boys really got to know God just by living with Jaya and her husband. Shall we pray? Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your loving kindness. We thank you for Jesus, who made the ultimate sacrifice for us that we might have eternal life with you. We thank you for the Holy Spirit who guides and directs us. And we pray, Father, that you will be with our youth and all this congregation, that we can see you coming in the clouds of heaven very soon, and we can all be together with you and heaven. It's my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.